The Essentialist brand, they actually make two different gua sha's. One's called Wavy and one is called Edgy. And the diff, I mean, I have the Wavy here, so I'll show you what that looks like. It comes with this very cute little bag, very soft. It's very important to keep your gua sha in a soft, little cozy surrounding like this because they're very delicate, very easy to break. Um, so you have to be careful with them, definitely. But it comes with a nice little bag to keep track of it. And like I said, I have the wavy. So this is what it looks like. You can see like the wavy is describing kind of the edges of the um, gua sha. So they're wavy. There are no really harsh edges. You know, it comes to little points, but overall it's pretty rounded and wavy. Um, the edgy one, however, has more sharp edges hence the name, um, more right angles to it. And that one is great if you're a little more experienced with gua sha then, you know, you really can get into all the places you wanna get into and really like strong, strongly get into them. Whereas the wavy one is great if you're more of a beginner. It's easier to use, it's it's just, it's, it's easier to get everywhere with it. With the edgy, you have to know like exactly what points and parts of the gua sha to use. Um, so if you're just starting out, I would recommend going with the wavy, but as you, you know, use it and practice, um, I definitely want to try out the edgy, um, and that would be, you know, something that you should do once you're a little more experienced. But that being said, the gua sha's are 100% agate, which is a stone that has amazing healing benefits. Um, it's known for promoting physical strength, emotional balance, and healing. So already our gua sha is giving us good vibes before we even apply it to our face. But 100% agate, it's so gorgeous, this uh, gua sha. I've never seen such a beautiful one. And um, these are all, like each one is going to be totally different. They're all one of a kind. So none will be exactly like the other, which is, you know, kind of cool. Um, just, you know, the natural variants and patterns, just really fun. So, and then it says essentialist across the front. Very nice, the two just go so well together. I'm very nervous I'm gonna drop this. I really hope I don't, I'm gonna be careful. So yes, like I said, wavy is designed to caress the face. Um, and that is what we are going to do now. Um, and you can see on your screen, the gua sha comes to $60 with the 15% off. Again, an amazing deal. If you're looking to get into gua sha, just add to bag right now along with the oil and you're, you've got everything you need. It's just one and done. Add the bag, check out, and you can, you can do this too. You can, I believe in you. So, excuse me, let's get into it. We're gonna start with our oil. So you start with maybe like five drops, three to five drops, um, and you can always apply more as you go. If you feel any tugging or just not gliding nicely, always add more oil. It's better to have more oil than not enough because once you start tugging, you're really kind of defeating some of the purposes of gua sha. So I'm gonna start with four, two on each side. You wanna try, mm, I drip on my pants. You wanna try to, oil in my mouth. You want to try to, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Um, what was I saying? I honestly don't know. So I like to rub the oil over my face to get it kind of everywhere that it's gonna go. And then I'll go in with the gua sha. So we're very oily. We'll definitely add more though. Um, oh, I know what I was gonna say. I was gonna say you wanna try to not touch the dropper to your face so that way there's no contamination happening in the bottle of your oil. Even though we just cleansed our skin, you know, just better safe than sorry. So I have my base, you know, of oil on. Like I said, I'll add more as I go, as I feel the need. But now let's start. So I like to do left side of my face, then right. You could always do, you know, one set on one side, one on the other, but I'd recommend doing one side at a time. So you're gonna take your gua sha, it's kind of intuitive what part of the gua sha you're gonna use for each section of your face. So for me, 
I'm going to use this top right here with the jaw and you start at the center of your chin. Like I said, I'm going to do left first. And you drag it across the jawline all the way to your ear and then you want to give it a little wiggle and the wiggle is what really helps with the lymphatic drainage which is sort of the main purpose of gua sha is to lymphatic drain which is you know draining out excess fluid that builds up in the body and sometimes you can see that in the form of swelling and if you do have uh, lymphs that need to be drained you will actively notice that they will go down after you gua sha. So you can repeat anywhere from three to 10 times the motion on each side. So I've done about three, just keep going a little bit. Um, I also will say you want to keep the gua sha as close to flat as possible. You never want to be holding it like perpendicular. You want to be holding it flat as possible to your face, about 15 degrees. Um, and like I was saying before, Essentialist on their website, which is EssentialistInc.com, uh, repeat, repeat what, repeat? Um, on their website, there's an amazing tutorial, and it can show you basically what I'm going through, and you know, you can always, oh, I started doing my right side, I didn't mean to do that. We're just doing left for now. Okay, so that's good on the job. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is a great bro sis activity for sure. Um, but yeah, on their website, amazing tutorial. I like to pop it on if I'm just like, don't want to think about it because we want to gua sha. I'll just turn the tutorial on and make sure I, you know, follow it to a T. So. This is our first move. I'm now set on this left side here and we can move on. So this is this is where you start. You can start from bottom and we move our way up. So again, middle of the chin, along the jaw, sort of like to your earlobe and then shake it out. So the second move is from the nose under the cheekbone, essentially. So for this one, let's see which part I'm going to use. I think I'll use, yeah, here. So the top of the gua sha, kind of get right in there next to the nose. And then pull under, sweep under the, the cheekbone to the hairline. So my gua sha is gliding really nicely, which means we have a good amount of oil on. You can see I'm sort of dipping down and following the structure of my face, of my bone structure and I'm holding it a little bit too perpendicular. You want to hold it as flat to the skin, starting right kind of in the crevice of your nose, down into the hairline and give it that shape. And if you find that you're tugging your skin a little too much, you can always like hold your face taut. Um, to keep it pulling a little bit less, but do one more here. Yes, this is very soothing. Gua sha should be very calming, relaxing. You know, that's why I would like to talk about setting the room up before you do it, getting in the right headspace. That's the best way to kind of appreciate the practice. Um, I don't know about you, but I can already see the difference on the left side of my face. It just looks more Drained. It looks more toned, less swollen than the right. And if again, if you need to gua sha, you will definitely notice a difference. Uh, the first time I did it right and correctly and watched the tutorial, I realized how much my skin needed it. And then the more you do it, maybe the less you'll notice the difference, but it's definitely something that's great to keep up with. Um, Okay, so if you're just joining um, and you need me to go back to any part that I've already done, just let me know, although we will switch to the right side once I'm done with the left. So we just did our second movement. Now we're going to move up the face to the inner corner of the eyelid and sweep out. So you want to be really gentle with this move. Um, under your eye it is very delicate. You really don't want to pull, so be as gentle as possible. And I'm gonna add a little more oil to this section um, so that 
it really just doesn't tug come over here too so again i'm gonna find you know which part of the gouache off fits in nicely this kind of does here and we're gonna hold it like a 15 degree angle pretty flat to the surface and you start in the inner corner like i said go under the eye and up to the hairline and again we repeat these steps anywhere from three to ten times I would do at least five to really, you know, get a good lymphatic drainage happening and really reap the benefits. Um, but, you know, if you're in a hurry, three is good and 10 is the max. So we've got a really nice glide here going on. This is actually like perfect to kind of caress this bone under my eye. So, yes. Oh my gosh, is this already 757? Oh, time really passes by when you're gua shying. Um, I need to move a little quicker. Thanks for everyone who's hanging out while I'm taking my sweet time. All right, get some oil on the forehead now. And now there are two moves, or three moves really for the forehead. So. You're gonna go across the brow bone, right across the brow, again into the hairline, brow to hairline, brow to hairline, here. And then you'll also wanna take it up from the middle of the brows up the third eye. This one feels really good if you have like pressure in your head or headache, which I kind of do. This one's really nice. Just slide it up the forehead. And the last move that we do is from the middle of the forehead. We're going to take it down the forehead and you can stop at the hairline, but what I learned from the Essentialist tutorial is that you can take it to the hairline and then go behind the ear and down the neck. So you don't have to combine these moves. You can do the neck separately, but it's a nice cohesive movement. Um, but if not, then it's nice to just drag down from the chin, down the neck. Um, but if you wanna do the whole move, middle of forehead, across, behind, and that's the whole routine. So can you see a difference? Because I can, and that, that's all I can say is that the, the proof is in the pudding kind of thing. So I am gonna do the other side of my face, but I didn't realize you know, how meditative I got and how slow I was moving. So I do wanna keep going with another product I really wanted to talk about tonight. Um, but if you guys wanna see another gua sha live, just let me know. I'm happy to do it. Happy to, once you guys have ordered your gua sha and your oil, to go through it again. But I hope that that was helpful. Um, if you need any more help with the gua sha, then visit essentialistinc.com. They have a video tutorial and written out tutorial. Um, that being said, you always want to wash your gua sha, which makes sense. You're applying it to your face. You always want to make sure it's clean. So I wanted to talk about this amazing natural soap. This is from the brand Soder, and I have the grapefruit scent. Their soaps are all natural. They are made in Zurich, Switzerland. Um, and these soaps are incredible. You can use them as a hand wash and a body wash because they're just so natural. They're real soap. And actually, any soap you use that's thick or foamy or anything like that, that's not a natural soap and it's actually a detergent and detergents are chemically derived. They're not good for your skin and natural soaps have a more liquid, thin, water-like consistency. And so this soda soap, you can tell when you pump it, and I'll try to show you, it's definitely, I'm just spilling everything. <laughs> it's definitely a more liquid consistency than a lot of soaps that you know, people are used to. If you've ever used a soap that's more thin, then that means it was probably a natural soap. But 
it sort of feels a little bit more oily maybe than um, like a typical like cheapy drugstore soap. But this is a really amazing natural soap that is so good for the skin. Um, it's so important what you use on your skin. I talk about this a lot, but even your hands absorb what they are, you know, being cleansed with. So it's important to use a good, healthy, natural hand soap. Again, you can use it as a body soap as well. Um, it's amazing for the environment, this brand, which I absolutely love. I love the packaging so much. It's so like just chic, little kind of brown glass bottle. Um, and also a little myth is that antibacterial soap is what you need to like really get rid of bacteria and germs on your hands, but that is not true. You just need a natural soap that is naturally antimicrobial and these soda soaps are. So I love this soap. It smells amazing. There, it, everything is naturally plant derived. Um, and I absolutely love to cleanse my gua sha with the soda soap once I am finished gua sha because it's just a really light natural cleanser. Um, and that is what I will use to wash the oil off from the gua sha to prepare it for the next time I'm going to use it. Um, amazing hand soap, body wash, gua sha cleanser. You definitely need to have a cleanser that is, you know, you could use a face cleanser, but like a gentle um, cleanser for your gua sha. You don't want to just store it once you're finished. Um, I keep the oil on my face once I'm done. I have a little bit excess going on because I'm going to do my right side. But um, you keep it on. You can see this side is kind of soaked into the skin more than this side. Um, it'll settle into your skin and you definitely want to leave it on. You could also, you know, put more on if you're finished and you feel like you've kind of like pushed or dragged a lot off, um, or you're extra dry, you can even apply more, but definitely leave it on. Um, and I think that's everything guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish my wash off camera, but I hope that that tutorial was helpful. Um, if you need any more tips, just let me know. I'm happy to discuss them in another live. But thanks for tuning in tonight. If you guys are new to gua sha don't be scared. Just get the gua sha, get the oil. You're set. Essentialsinc.com. Everything you need to know. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And I'll see you in my next live. Bye.